My life on the X list. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, the Diva X, and I'm back here. And I hope you guys like the new intro, and you'll soon see the new outro. Nothing big on the outro, but the intro is definitely something that I did put some effort into in producing. So I hope you guys enjoy that very, very much because it was a lot of work. And if you don't, then oh well, that's life. I don't know if you guys know. I'm sure you guys know who she is. But Kamara Lee Simmons. I am in awe of Kamara Lee Simmons. Um, I think that I, if I were Kamara in Kamara's situation with like all this money and all this extravagance, I would totally be Kamara. Um, I say be Kamara because she's like too well obviously the word fabulous is the word that is used most to describe her and over the top she even uses the word herself over the top to describe herself and her style and her and everything about her um and it's amazing like i you know i think and a lot of people do talk crap about her because you know she went she got a divorce from russell simmons and you know and just the way she is i think is a lot of the way she presents herself but i think that's how she got where she is and that's why i love her for that because if anyone um knows she wrote a book called fabulosity I know it's like, well, Paris Hilton wrote a book too, but it's nothing like that at all. And I think a lot of people might think that. Um, and, you know, it does dabble in her life and stuff like that. But it's really, it's a lot of good advice. Um, a one-time friend once laughed because they saw this book in my collection. And if you guys can see, I have it tabbed um, on on things that I thought were like important, important or amazing or good advice. Um, the first thing I tabbed, and I'll share that with you guys now, um, so you guys can kind of get the kind of book it is, um, and know that it's not, comp um, it's not trash. Um, so on page 84, rule of persistence number one, when you have a good idea, be tenacious like a pit bull, hang on tight and get it done your way. And don't let people who aren't particularly invested in your success tell you otherwise. I think that is like... I mean, that alone, if this book was written and nothing else was said in it, that would, I mean, ugh, it's, it's, I mean, you know, that's all, I don't even know what to say about it, but it's, it's that good. I mean, there's other tabs, there's other tabs that I tabbed, I mean, there's, it's a lot of good, um, kind of how to get your, you know, it's actually, what it is and how to get it, fabulosity is the actual, the tagline of the book. Um, I'm not, I, I, I just always wanted to tell people about this book, and I don't know if you guys know she has her new, her new um, show, um, Life in the Fab Lane, I think it is, on Style Network, and if you go to the stylenetwork.com website, you guys can see clips of her video, and she's just, in her videos, you can tell that she is definitely in control of what's going on in her life, and that's what I, I love, I mean, that's, that's what this is all about, you know, it's just being in control and handling business the way you need to handle it. Um, and, and knowing what you want out of life and knowing what you expect and, and getting what you expect and not letting anyone tell you differently. Again, like back to that quote, you know, anyone that's not particularly invested in your success, then, oh, you know, too bad, too bad for them. And, you know, I think that's important. And if you watch the clips, I mean, you'll probably maybe two, three, four, maybe five times say she's a bitch, but I think think that's the point again I think that's the point I mean like myself I know sometimes I can be a big B-I-T-C-H but you know in the end it's for a good reason and I don't just do it just to be mean and I don't do it to to um I do it to get shit done I mean seriously um I'm you know that's that's the reality of it so um her style is amazing like 
honestly it's maybe not my style and in my price range but her style is definitely out there and you know she represents for herself and that's what's important um i know she was on tyra and she talked about i think you can check it on on myspace um an article an um, uh, interview that she's did um where she mentioned you know a lot of people celebrities people are getting into the clothing arena and she you know tyra said you know you're very successful i think they're going on like 15 years um with baby fat and she's like well what do you think accounts to your success she's like because i was always fashion you know before she was this mogul of baby fat she was a runway model so what she said was um was that she's always been in fashion. It's not that she was an actress or, or a wife of a, you know, whomever before she was. She was always involved in fashion. So she thinks that's why, you know, part of her success is, has gone as long as it has. And I think it's true. Um, I think that there are people that are, that know clothing, though. I mean, I think that that's a big part of it, too. And I, like I said, her style is very different. Baby Fat's clothing line is different from a lot of the clothing lines that I've seen. It's very more, it's very urban chic, very fabulous. Um, like, I don't, I, this dress, I don't think she made it, um, but, like, this dress was an inspiration for my, <laughs> my, uh, I think it was a two-year anniversary, uh, costume, um, my opening costume, like, the print, the, the leopard print, and I'll put a picture up. Damn, girl, damn, girl, damn, girl, damn, girl, damn, girl, damn. And so, you know, it was very fabulous and she does I mean she's very inspiring when it comes to her fashion and of course you know with myself like I like making clothes and stuff and that was the design um this is the word when I bought this book it was around the time of the anniversary show and I was like oh my god I love that outfit however I can afford that outfit and it won't look as good as on me but I you know went out and I found material that was similar and I put my own thing together that was my style with just inspiration from this. On one clip when you go into the Stout Network, she actually goes into one of her flagship stores or the flagship store in New York and it's just like, it's a mess. Like there's boxes everywhere. And I tell you, if I were her, I would have fucking hit the fan. Like I would have went off. I wouldn't even, she handled herself very calmly. Um, and in one clip she's like, consider me the fire marshal and consider you in trouble. And the girl starts laughing and she's like, oh, you think that's funny? Like it was so, you know, I would have been like off with their heads, like seriously, because there were boxes and stuff, racks, empty racks in the middle of the store everywhere. And it's like the flagship store, which means it's their main store um, in, in New York. And, you know, they were planning an event there. And I think that's right. And, you know, she's, they're talking about, you know, getting her a new assistant and stuff. I'm like, you know what? Those are the kind of people that I would like to work for. People that know what they want. I mean, granted, everyone has their moments of bitchiness. And I, trust me, I know. But, it would totally be awesome to work with someone like that. Like, you know, and even, like, Britney Spears, even though she's a mess, but I think she just needs someone who's going to be like, listen here, girl, you know what's going on, you know what's going wrong, and we need to fix it, you know? And, like, actually put your foot down and, and like, do what's good for her, not what she wants you to do. And, like, I granted she might fire your ass again, but you know what? At least you tried, and that's what it's about. And at least you tried to help her um, in, in the Britney moments. Um, and, you know, hopefully she'll find that right person who will do that for her. Um, but to, back to Kamara, you know, she likes things a certain way. She, you know, she wants her Blackberry when she wants her Blackberry. And if you can't provide it for her, then you shouldn't be on her staff. So I think it would be awesome. Like, it should be a reality TV show, and I should be one of the contestants because I think I can be Kamara's assistant or Britney Spears. Ooh, Britney Spears' assistant? Like, a TV show about that would be great. Um, but I would be more of like a life coach because I don't I don't like assistants just kind of like do me tell me do what I do what I want you to do where I would want it to be like girl let's do what we need you to do you know what I mean I just think it's important to actually you know help them in the same process of just doing what they want you to do I mean I know that's how people get fired but in the end if you're successful and you know it works out for them you know your recommendations then you are probably going to get a fat bonus or something like that or, you know, keep a job that much longer. So in the end, um, I think that's enough for this video. And um, check out Kimora's My Life on the, in the Fab Lane. I think that's what it's called. On a style network television, it's pretty fierce. And also, you can actually download it on iTunes. <laughs>